Teresa. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Oh, wow, you look beautiful. Laura, oh, you make a stunning mother of the bride. Thank you, Ricky. Well, the night has barely begun, and it is already magical. Oh, Teresa, every moment I spend with you is magical. Well, I, I want to thank you all for coming tonight to celebrate our love. So, just come on in and have a good time. That's what tonight's all about. <laughs> Surely, Ivy, you can't be so bored already that you're already bothering me. I wouldn't be quite so quick to dismiss me, Eve. I just have a little friendly advice for you. Friendly? I didn't think you knew the meaning of the word. Well, your daughter, Whitney, and Chad certainly seem to be getting friendly. Do you really think that's a good idea to let them get so close? I thought you were off that kick, Ivy. I told you that my baby died. Chad can't be my son. Well, I wouldn't be so sure. Julian and Alistair can't be trusted with what if Chad is your son? Your son, Julian. You're sure your plan will work? Oh, it's absolutely foolproof. Sending that email with the news that Ethan was saying that his son to the Silesia tabloid in the wrong was a stroke of genius. Yes. I guess we did do pretty well for ourselves. And once Ethan finds out that Teresa knew the truth, he'll be through with that lying slut. <laughs> I cannot wait to see the look on Ivy's face when her secret is exposed. I just wish I didn't have to wait so long. What is that reporter anyway? What reporter, Rebecca? Just what are you up to? Why do you have a reporter coming to this house? Well, I'm sure you must agree that we need the right kind of uh, media coverage for this sort of a uh, gala event. So I already invited a reporter from the New York Times and one from the Washington Post and several from some other well-respected newspapers and magazines. That way, the tabloids can't print any wild and untrue stories. Well, you do have a point about that. I wouldn't want the media saying anything unkind about my son. Still, I don't quite understand why you've gone to such great lengths for this part. Well, I've already told you. Ethan is like family to us. And what better way to show him that we care than to be supportive of him and his new fiance? <laughs> But I don't buy it. I know exactly what you're up to, and I think we ought to talk about it right now. Excuse me. Excuse me. Could you see to it that somebody fixes this arrangement right away, please? Pilar, you are in serious trouble. What's the matter, Ethan? I'm just kidding, but you are not here tonight to work. And you are an honored guest. Well, my Ethan is right. You are here to celebrate just like everyone else. Well, I was hardly working. I just saw something that needed to be done. Well, as your future son-in-law, I'm going to make a request that you not look for things that need to be done tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, uh, excuse me for a moment. I'm going to talk to Mr. Parker about some golf tips. Oh, right back. I will miss you. You're upset. Can't you be happy for Ethan and me? I'm sorry, Teresita. I am happy for you, but you can't ask me not to worry. Why? Everything is perfect. Ethan and I are getting married 
just like I have always dreamed. And Mrs. Hodgkinson went up throws a beautiful engagement party. Julian and Alistair Crane have been very welcoming, and Louisa and Sheridan are happy too. So what can there possibly be to worry about? Well, in this house, there's always something to worry about. There are secrets everywhere. No, we deleted the files on my laptop. The proof that Ethan is Chief Bennett's son. Mrs. Crane, you and I are the only ones who know the truth. There's no way that secret will come out. There are many secrets hidden here, Teresa. The Cranes have plenty of them. And I'm just terrified. If they are revealed, the lives of you and Louise will be destroyed. Wait till later. Tonight I'm going to take you in my arms and I'm going to make passionate love to you. You do remember that we have a party to go to, don't you? Mm, the only thing on my mind right now is you. There's nothing on this earth that I want more than to make love to you. But if we don't go to Ethan and Teresa's engagement party, they will be so disappointed. Make your promise, though. I'm all ears. The minute the party is over, we are going to come back here share our first night of love. Mm. The first night in a long lifetime of nights. I love you, Sheridan. I'm never going to let anything or anyone come between us again. We're going to play the tape for Luis first. I want him to look at Sheridan and see his father's blood on her hands. Oh, my. What a romantic moment that'll be. Yes, but let's not forget that Luis fancies himself as some kind of super cop. What if he thinks the tape is a fake? If there's one voice Luis knows, it's that of his beloved Sheridan. There's no way he can deny it's her voice on the tape. Oh, God. I killed Martin Fitzgerald. I killed Luis's father. You bastard. What do you mean you saw Sam's son? I just have this feeling that your son is close by. That Sam's gonna find out he has a son very soon. Well, you said earlier you thought Grace was having a boy. Grace is having that same feeling. Is that what you meant? It must be. But I really think it's a bad idea that you go to the party tonight. Sweetheart, if you want us to stay, if we'll make you feel better, we will. Yeah. Look, I'll get you a glass of water, okay? For someone who desperately wants her soul back, you're sure not delivering the necessary goods. Would you chill? I'm trying. I'll get it. Charity, why are you purposely trying to upset Mom? I'm not. I'm really worried about her. Yeah, well, this pregnancy means everything to them. And if you stress her out, something could happen to that baby. What's up, TC? What's going on? You left us hanging at this awful party. Yeah, hang on a second. Grace, what do you think? You still want to go? I don't know if it's such a good idea. Mom, of course it's a good idea. You just found out you're pregnant, all right? Go out, celebrate. <sighs> Charity agrees. Is that true, Charity? I mean, do you really think Sam and I should go to the party? Stop worrying and go to the party. Have fun. Everything will be okay. Right, Charity? Well... We both think it's okay. We'll go. All right, man, we're coming. Mission accomplished. <laughs> now I'll be able to annihilate your goody goody cousin for good. <laughs> we're on our way. All right, man, cool. Uh, listen, Miguel's standing next to me. He wants to speak to Chad. Hold on. Hi, Miguel. How's the party? Teresa couldn't be happier, but I'd be a lot happier if you were here with me. I wish I was there, too. Miguel, 
Has anything strange happened at the party? Have Rebecca and Gwen Hotchkiss done anything mean? Yeah, Mama was worried about the same thing, but everything's fine. Okay, if you're sure. I'm positive. I miss you, Charity. I'll come and check on you as soon as I can. Miss you too. Bye. Okay, well, Miguel says that nothing strange has happened, so I guess I was wrong. It's all right, sweetheart. No, I, I just think you're tired. 